Hello, my name is Stan Copeland, and I'm the pastor of Lovers Lane United Methodist Church in Dallas, Texas, where I've been for nearly 24 years. And some people of late have called me the Pickling Parson. And I want to tell you how I got that name. Um, I was born and reared in the little town of Chandler, Texas, which is about 90 miles due east of Dallas. And my parents and the rest of my family, they all still live in that little rural East Texas town. In 2018, in the summer, in August, our daughter got married in Dallas and my parents, um, they came to the wedding and were here in Dallas for two nights. They hadn't been away from their home for two nights in a row in years. My mother has advanced Parkinson's and they weren't going to miss their granddaughter's wedding. But that night there was a terrible thunderstorm and their house was struck by lightning and burned to the ground. So my parents uh, in their mid 80s uh, were looking at um, not having a home and having to rebuild. So we re relocated them in a little house in town and our son Zachary is an architect and he designed them a new house and building was underway and the year was underway and the summer was approaching. I thought to pick mom's spirits up a little uh, that I might try my hand at something I'd always seen done but never practiced and that was pickling and canning. In fact, I asked mom if, uh, if we could maybe make her grandmother, Mama Hasey's lemon fig preserve recipe. There were plenty of, of figs on the farm and so uh, I picked figs and uh, we all assembled in the kitchen with all of the equipment that mom said we needed and she was coaching and she was spinning stories about her family. How she had seen her great grandmother, her grandmother, her mother pickling and canning all of her life. So the good news was the figs turned out perfectly. Mom said they looked just like Mama Hasey's. And a few weeks later, a cousin of hers and mine, um, Margaret Ann, she sent mom some of her great-grandmother, my great-great-grandmother, Mama Ellis's, sweet pickles. Uh, we call these Mama's Virginia sweet chunk pickles. And so uh, I wondered if I should dare try to make Mama's sweet pickles. And I did, and it was quite an undertaking. In fact, just the brining took seven days and then the crisping another uh, two or three days. And then after that, uh, you start adding the, sh the spices and the sugars and, and make the sweet pickles. And mom said they tasted great. I thought they tasted pretty good, but the acid test was our great, our granddaughter, Claire Bear, mom's great granddaughter. And when I gave Claire Bear one of those pickles, her great, 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 great grandmother's pickles, she said, mmm, yummy, they my favorite. And I was hooked. I thought, I'm going to make some more of those pickles and maybe some jams and jellies and other things. And then I entered the fair, won a few ribbons, and the pickling and canning bug bit me. Now, I'm going to tell you some more about these sweet pickles. I wondered why did Mama Ellis call these Virginia chunk sweet pickles when she'd never left the state of Texas and had barely gotten out of our county. And then a, a little ancestry work revealed that her grandparents and great grandparents came from Virginia. So could these pickles be a recipe that goes back for my granddaughter 10 generations? It's really all about connections. And what I love about pickling and canning is the connections it gives me with family, but more than that, with friends. And it's all really about sharing goodness. And so I'm going to tell you some more about pickling and canning in some uh, videos to come. But I want to say today, enjoy, eat more pickles, and share more goodness. Thank you.